Here are three weird signs that you probably have high testosterone. Number one, if your ring finger is longer than your index finger, which both of mine are, that's a sign that you're actually exposed to more testosterone in the wound. And for that reason, scientists have said that these people tend to be naturally more gifted in their athletic ability, and of course, have more testosterone. Number two is if you walk by men and you ask yourself, could I beat them in a fight? Or you actually play out a whole virtual fight in your head with every single guy you walk past. And this is something that is done instinctively. But if you have lower testosterone, chances are you probably have never done this in your life. Number three is that you find it hard to be with one woman. And the reason is, is because the higher testosterone you have, the more you have a innate will to spread seed and act within your biological imperative. And also your libido is higher, so that doesn't help out at all. So do you have higher testosterone? Let me know down below. I think fat women are freaking gross. Not really a fan of Indian women. Trans dudes, they look weird. All of those are dating preferences of mine, and I'm allowed to have those, and so are you. I've had people tell me, you wouldn't date a fat girl? Oh my God, you're so fat phobic. Uh, no, I love all people just the same, and I believe in unity among all people, but I'm allowed to have a dating preference because the thought of seeing a fat woman naked makes me want to vomit. And if me saying that made you uncomfortable, you have something to work on, not me. Please tell me right now, bald guys are disgusting. Tell me I look like a naked mole rat. What the hell happened to caught you? Oh my gosh, is that Rufus from Kim Possible? Awesome, that's your preference and I don't and I can't take that personally. I can't tell you who to date and I'm not here to judge you for who you want to. I know dating preferences aren't personal because I'm not a sensitive little snow. I wanna see the cringiest, most cuddly thing ever. This is called a love surge. And we do this when one of us has like so much love in our limbs that we can't contain it and feel like we're gonna explode. So Sean is having a love surge right now and he's gonna wrap around me and shake with the electricity of love until I catch it too and start shaking and then you explode with a love surge. Ah, I feel so much better. Don't you? Thank you. You're welcome. And that's the love surge. Mm, so much love was just surged. I see the cringe. Don't be scared, Addy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that one first. Okay. okay. I don't have no fucking mic. Like, yeah. <laughs> or this one, Allie. This is the one I want to do, the monkey bars. You can do this one. Monkey bars, are, or the net, maybe. Not the net, the net. The net would be easy, I'm not going to lie to you. But then there's monkey bars at the next. But it's no, easy. easy. Like monkey I think she wants to do this one. <laughs> All right, let's help her up. Help her. Timer, timer, no, timer, three minutes. No. Stop, no, stop. Stop, stop. stop no. Marky, can you help her? Three minutes, three minutes starts now. Three minutes starts now. It's okay. So go down there and do it. No, no, no. Uh, it's no, the no, best way we can do. Like, I wanted to keep doing. God is setting you free right now. Is there anything you wanted to renounce? I want to renounce a generational curse. My child is autistic, and he's 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 not he's, he has no brains at all. Like we've tried everything, and um, I've gone through deliverance before, and it's just so hard to break this curse. God is breaking this generational curse right now. Thank you, Jesus. His power is here, right now. It is time now for your deliverance and your family's deliverance. I break every generational curse off of you, off of this whole family. And I detach this family and you from what you spoke. I declare every spirit attached, every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of mental illness. I declare on three, all must leave him in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Free. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. His power is enough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
I declare to your son, I declare freedom to him. I declare creative miracles in his mind now. In Jesus. All right, we're all just living in Bo Burnham songs at this point. Uh, this is an actual tweet from the nation of Israel. Um, this is their verified Twitter account. Notice how I just called it Twitter. I don't have to say fucking X, formerly known as Twitter. It's fucking Twitter. Verified, all right? Verified, actual tweet. They're saying thank you to everyone, and then they know a lot of people are going through bad stuff, which is why they're getting six months of free therapy to those affected by the war in Israel from BetterHelp. That's right. BetterHelp. Israel declared war, and then they declared a collab with BetterHelp. So when you think BetterHelp, I want you to think of BetterHelp. Collaborators with the nation of Israel. Better help and Israel, hand in hand, collaborators. What the fuck is next? A Hello Fresh for Ukraine? Uber Eats for Syria? Get the fuck out of here. Like we're just living in Bo Burnham songs at this point. Like I just, I don't wanna, I don't fucking care. I just fucking, st if he's gonna come back, huh? If you're gonna come back, just come back. But I bet you're gonna come back wearing fucking Nike or Adidas. Are you? I'm gonna record you. Oh, you're turning around away? Bro. What? Bro. What? Bro. What? Why are you shaking? Because I'm a Nick addict. <laughs> I can Whoa. tell. Yeah. I'm fucking record. Oh, it's crazy the amount of people that are saying the best veneers that they've ever seen oh, thanks so much but i'm even happier now because of all the comments and all the messages i get and then people stop me saying god where'd you get your teeth done they look so nice. that's what I, I was a bit nervous when i got them done because i thought the last thing i want is to get my veneers done and then for not to look natural you know i wanted to keep the natural look so that's why i got them exactly like this absolutely perfect now i don't want to geek you but I, got, I went to turkey uh to get these done which i think are probably the best but you can see look at the shape and the definition personally i don't think it'd be able to tell that will fit шикарная Зинка стала вообще шикарнейшую смотри как красиво боже боже я думаю что забыла а похуй думаешь что хочешь роскошь роскошь а не женщина do not approach me I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine and I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it but it scared me I'm literally I'm literally shaking so this guy I am a alone with my son by myself a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot he's excuse me miss and I don't know 
why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. And before he, I mean, he was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me, ma'am. And I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said, do not approach me. And he like, like, immediately started going in the other direction and I just kept saying it over and over and over. I said, do not approach me. Do not approach me. And he of course like got like, what the F did it? Like he started cussing and yelling like, what, what's your problem? And I, and I looked at him and he started, he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me. He crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like, what's con continuing to cuss and say, what's your problem? And I said, you do not approach women in a parking lot. I just kept saying, do not approach me. You do not approach women in a parking lot, like yelling it. No male, no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot me and alicia have two daughters together and and my payment to her is 31 dollars a month that's food for two days me and kathleen have one daughter and my total payment to her is 140 dollars a month wait that doesn't seem fair to alicia me and Chelsea have one son and my- Um, excuse me bro, how did you fertilize all these women? One son and my total payment to her is $14 a month. That would not even buy enough fuel to go cash the check. Me and Alyssa have one son together and- What? Another one? How did this $14 paying man convince all these women to do shakalakalaka boom boom with him? And my total payment to her is $24 a month. Paying what I spent on chicken nuggets in three seconds as a whole month worth of child support payment. Me and Brandy have one daughter together. DJ Cali, where are you? Another one. And my total payment to her is $28 a month. That cannot even feed a bacteria, but please tell me there is not another one. Me and Samantha have one daughter. Jesus Christ on a motorbike. What is bro's name? The fertilizer? together and my total payment to her is zero dollars i don't pay her anything bro why are you saying that proudly are you not embarrassed i am embarrassed for you and that comes out to a grand total of 237 dollars oh thank god it is finished if he counted any longer i would have thought he just looks at them and they get pregnant <laughs> Sometimes. I actually tried that shit. I'm not, I'm not recording. What'd you do though? That was so fucking Kimberly, weird. Kimberly, I'm not recording anymore. Say it again. Fuck you. <laughs> I told her I was a freak. Where did my fireball go? He's still oh, eating your pussy. She got Devin come all over it. Told her. Oh, I sucked the fuck out of his fingers um, after he was done fingering me. Hey, I, I shoved him in your mouth. I told you I was a freak, babe. I'm okay with that. I'm sitting here with Tommy Tellerico. Where? Where is he? Where? Well, I, I don't know. It's, it's yes, we got Tommy Tellerico. Where? Where is he? <laughs> right here. Tommy Tellerico. Woo! Oh, What's going on, brother? Gosh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> At GDC 2009 with music legend Tommy Tellerico. Where? Here, dude. Oh, You're right me. here. And I'm here with Tommy Tellerico, the oh, one yeah. and only. Where is he? Uh, I think it's this guy right oh, over that's here. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're here with Tommy Tellerico, who is a very. Fortunehealth.com, <laughs> oh. we're here with the one, the only, the video games live king and conqueror, Tommy Tellerico. Where? Where is he? Uh, we keep him in your pocket, sir. Oh, that's me. Uh, welcome back to Super Jeremy World, and welcome to our special guest today, Tommy Tellerico from Intelligent Entertainment. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, 
Here I am. And we're here with none other than Tommy Tallarico. I don't know. Where do you, oh. I'm here with none other than Tommy Tallarico, who is... Where? I don't know. I can't friggin' see him anywhere. But <laughs> And I have the honor and the privilege of having the iconic, the legendary Tommy Tallarico. Where? Where is he? He's right there. It's you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> with CEO, executive producer, and host, Tommy Tallarico. Where is he? Oh, that's me. We're at the convention center with my, an old friend, Tommy Tallarico. Where? <laughs> Oh, wait, that's me. But uh, right now we actually have a special guest with us. We've got uh, Tommy Tallarico. Who's where? Going? Where is he? I don't know. If you can help us figure that out. Oh, wait, that is me. Guys, it's Joseph Noob here, editor in chief of ByteBeastU.com, with Tommy Tallarico, co creator where? of where is Video he? Games Live. Oh, He's that's me. right there. But the certain swarthy Italian ladies' man that we have literally grabbed from the show floor. I mean, he's sitting here. He's All right, we are here at MagFest 12 with the legendary Tommy Tallarico right in front of the Tron where? machine. Where is he? <laughs> oh, that's me. Hey guys, Brett Weiss here with Tommy Tallarico. Where? Where? Where is he? Oh, that's me. I mean, as I live and breathe, the mastermind behind Video Games Live, Tommy Tallarico is standing right here with me. Thanks a lot for talking to us, Tommy. Hey, how you doing? I'm Cody McGoy, and this is On The Arts. Today, I am here with Tommy Tallarico. Where? Where is he? <laughs> Where? Oh, oh, that's oh. me! All right, joining me now, uh, Tommy Tallarico. Hi. Hey, Tommy. Where? Where is it? It's right there. You're, you're there. Oh, I'm here. You know, you know. I'm Jinx with the Frag Dolls, and I'm here with Tommy Tallarico. Where? <laughs> oh, here I am. And I am joined by the creator of Video Games Live and video game composer, Tommy Tallarico. Where? Where is He's he? right here, man. He's right here. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're here talking with Tommy Tallarico. Where? Big. I'm John Batios from IMGMR Montreal. Fortunate enough to be here with iconic legend Tommy Tallarico. Tommy, thank you Where? so much. Where? Oh, come on. Oh, that's me. David Reinhardt with Geek and Media, and I'm here with... Uh, oh, me. Some people like to get dressed up. This guy dressed up like Tommy Tallarico from Video Games with Live. Where, where is he? Wow, that is a great, that is an authentic costume. Hi, this is Victor Lucas. I'm, at, I'm with the Electric Playground. I'm here at the E3. Tommy Tallarico. Where, where? Right here, man, right oh, here. Hey, everybody, Chase here at Geek Gamer TV. I'm here with the world famous. I'm going to call you world famous. Yeah, he's over there somewhere. No, world famous Tommy Tallarico. He's right here! We're here with uh, Tommy, I think oh, it was. Yes, wait. oh yeah, sorry, where, sorry. Where is he? Uh, yeah. Is that, oh that's me. I'm with the one and only Tommy Tellerico. Where? And right here, you're where right is here. He? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Jeremy Tao Jia Yuan. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go check out my vlog channel if you want to see more fitness stuff or the extras to these videos. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I recently teamed up with Gymshark. So if you want to look awesome in the gym, go to the first link in the description and look around. It'll really mean a lot to me. Um, besides that, just like, comment, and subscribe.